Douglas. Pray thee, you must ask my father, the king, if you wish to escort me to the royal prom. What say you, sir? Why? I rock! Right? You know, there are a lot of things that are impossible to succeed at without practice. When you act in a play, you have to rehearse your lines. When you're on a diving team, you might want to go to practice in order to perfect your dive. And when you have a drum solo, well, you probably want to learn how to play the drum. Doug scored a big zero in all three. And the same idea holds true for driving. Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Liz. Welcome to iDrive Smart Academy. You know, it doesn't matter how long you've had your license, you never stop learning how to drive. Getting your license is only the first step in learning proper driving techniques, along with how to respond to changing road conditions. A lot of people our age think that passing your driving exam automatically makes you a pro. That's just not the case. In fact, the first six months you have your license are the most dangerous. The number one reason why young people like us get in accidents is because we are inexperienced and we lack the awareness that a more experienced driver has. And that includes anticipating and reacting to certain conditions both on and off the road while you're driving. Let's go to the drive lab for an example. This is the drive lab, everyone. A one-of-a-kind testing facility where all of the Academy's future researchers can use their combined brain power in order to discover new and improved ways to keep us all safer on the road. Oh, thank you. Driving a car is one of the most complex activities you will ever take on. It requires skills including managing both your speed and distance relative to what's going on around you, as well as identifying unpredictable hazards and obstacles. And on top of all that, you have to be careful of people like Doug. Being an inexperienced driver means that all these skills are new to you, and it's important to take the time and do all that it takes to become a safe driver. For example, did you know that it can take up to two times as far to stop on a wet road as it does on a dry one? Or that if you go around a turn in cold weather, your car can actually surf on ice? Building the proper habits and skills necessary to drive takes time. In fact, the most dangerous time you'll be on the road is in your first year of driving. There are so many unforeseeable things that can happen to you once you get out there. Road signs are one essential tool experienced drivers use. Take the time to familiarize yourself with them and what they mean. A sharp turn ahead means you should slow down. But signs aren't everything. That's right. That same turn could be wet, which could cause you to slip or even hydroplane off the road. If roads are wet or icy, an experienced driver knows that they need to anticipate the turn in advance and slow down even sooner than usual when approaching it. And be careful. If there's something in the road that you need to avoid, try not to oversteer in order to drive around it. These are only a few examples of the many things that can happen to you while you're on the road. One surefire way to improve your experience is to spend the proper amount of time driving with your parents while you still have your permit. And ask your parents to take a drive with you in challenging but safe situations so that you can gain the necessary experience to be a safe driver. Mr. Delaney, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. So why don't you give me your cell phone, MP3 player, and electronic gaming device, and I'll give you your lines to your play, your music homework for your drum solo, and your coach's notes about your diving. I think the principal finally discovered how to motivate Doug to practice more. But all kidding aside, driver inexperience is the number one reason why teens get involved in motor vehicle crashes. In fact, it's the number one cause of death and serious injuries for people between the ages of 16 and 24. 
when it comes to driving, you never stop learning. Remember, there is no substitute for experience. So always keep learning, developing, and practicing safe driving behaviors. And don't forget, the graduated driver license law helps you gain that experience by restricting the times you can drive. Because we all know, driving at night is much more dangerous. I drive smart, and you should too. For more information on how to increase your driving awareness, visit the website on your screen.